how to demonstrate sectionizer automation in ESRG T300 using a T200 simulator box. Simulation requirement T200 simulator box with switch control and current injection cables, ESRG T300 with SC module. Prerequisites T200 simulator box integrated with ESRG T300 through switch control and current injection cables. ESRG T300 with valid configuration and the latest firmware. The switch position on the SC module needs to be closed. Automatism should be on. Write settings in the web server. T200 simulator box. This is an ESRG T200 simulator box. The simulator box has separate connectors for switch control, current injection, and power supply. Plug in the 230 volts AC power supply cord to the connector and turn on the simulator. Wiring diagram. Please ensure the wiring between the T300 and T200 simulator according to the wiring diagrams as shown in the later part of the video. Simulating switch position and voltage presence. Connect the switch status and control cables between the T200 simulator box and T300. The switch control section on the T200 simulator box helps simulate the open and close position of the switch. The status button helps simulate earth switch position and the D input button simulates a digital input and in our case it simulates voltage presence or absence. On button simulates the switch on position and the off button simulates the switch off position. Turning on the digital input button simulates voltage presence and turning it off simulates voltage absence. The simulated switch position is being reflected in the web server as well. Simulating fault. Connect the current injection cable between the T200 simulator box and the ESRG T300. The current injection section in the T200 simulator helps simulate phase and earth faults by injecting required secondary currents with the help of a knob. Ensure to switch on the button and turn the knob to simulate the required current magnitude. We simulated a fault by injecting a current greater than the threshold. The fault simulated can be seen on the HMI as well as on the web server. Settings
Log on to the web server by typing in the right username and password. Navigate to the settings of the SC module on which the sectionizer automation is being simulated. Ensure the right CT connection mode and the primary secondary ratios in the sensor section. In the fault indication section, we have chosen FPI network presence and confirmation mode as voltage and the voltage presence source as digital input. Enter recloser parameters that is primary CB recloser maximum operating time and fault confirmation time. Under non-directional fault detection, enter the threshold value for simulating earth fault or phase fault as per your requirement. In the sectionizer section, ensure that it is enabled and choose the number of reclose cycles. Simulating sectionizer automatism function. Ensure that the switch is closed and the automatism is on. Simulate voltage presence. Simulate an earth fault by injecting a current greater than the threshold value and ensure the fault confirmation by simulating voltage absence. Repeat these steps for the reclose number of cycles plus 1. As seen from the HMI, the sectionizer automatism operated the switch and changed the switch position from close to open. The web server also indicates that the sectionizer automatism operated the switch and changed the switch position from close to open.